This is Mission Control Houston, now an hour and 15 minutes into today's uh, planned seven-hour spacewalk to replace a failed pump unit as part of the cooling system on the exterior of the International Space Station. Tracy Caldwell-Dyson and uh, Doug Wheelock moving along and doing a good job of keeping on, t on uh, the timeline for their tasks, both of them working uh, at the uh, S1 uh, area of the truss structure as they uh, prepare to remove the uh, failed pump module from the cooling system. In other words, were the, um, the, the, the same truss member that the P-clamps were just disconnected from down at the very bottom where it meets the cedar rail. Um, it, it, the uh, truss spins out there. I'll get a little bit thinner. I'm going to wrap a long wire tie around there and temp sew those spits inside of the truss on that, on that, um, on that truss member. I copy, Wills. That sounds like a good plan. Again, all this work uh, is uh, ongoing now because of a failure that occurred last Saturday uh, of the uh, pump module that's used to circulate ammonia through the uh, huge radiators that are used to get rid of excess heat generated by the electronic components on board the International Space Station. Crew uh, successfully installed uh, several uh, jumpers that allowed for uh, the best possible redundancy of uh, station systems and some of the uh, external uh, systems on the station are uh, uh, cooled by only one of the two redundant cooling loops, uh, A and B, of this ammonia system. Again, uh, the ammonia is used on the outside of the, uh, of the station to reject the excess heat, and a heat exchanger allows it to uh, take the uh, excess heat from the water-based cooling system on the inside of the station. Throughout this past week, while uh, flight controllers on the ground work to uh, develop procedures for this uh, pump removal and replacement, uh, the uh, conditions inside the station have been uh, pretty much normal for the International Space Station crew. Uh, thanks to some uh, work they did immediately after the failure to configure those jumpers so that the uh, best possible system configuration could be working. After they, uh, if we, that's what we were just talking. Um, the uh, biggest uh, change to the crew has been that they have uh, refocused their attentions from the scientific investigations inside the station on to uh, preparations for the spacewalk. They had been already scheduled to conduct a spacewalk on Thursday, but it was for a completely different purpose. Uh, those tasks have been uh, put off until we can complete this uh, more critical removal and replacement of the uh, pump module. So was the plan that I would um, straighten the arms and then... Uh, right, so what you'll do is uh, release the... Deploy it. Yep, you'll release the wire ties, straighten the arm out, and then you'll have to deploy that sleeve over that locks the uh, arm straight out. And then you'll lay the arms parallel to the truss. Okay. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, Oscar Kaler, the Intervehicular Activity Support Officer here in Mission Control, ready and going up to uh, Doug Wheelock that the uh, EVA folks here on the ground are seeing that these quick disconnect valves on the ammonia lines that he's going to be removing uh, are not lining up. Uh, you can see the center uh, line there is uh, M2. It has a white area that is exposed that shows that uh, the bale is in the full open position. On the two outside lines, the M1 and the M3, we're not seeing that white line. And so Wheelock is being uh, offered the opportunity to uh, check that and make sure that those are in the full open position. Uh, he's got a special tool he's pulling out of his tool bag right now that he can use to get some additional leverage if he needs to to make that set up uh, properly uh, connected up so that he's ready to go with uh, removing those uh, ammonia lines. They want to make sure that they're completely uh, open so that they're disconnected and that is expected to help uh, uh, minimize the release of any ammonia which we don't want contaminating the spacewalker spacesuits talking about do we want you to push the button or not push the button when you try to move the barrel. Okay. Good to go. Okay. 
forward. Okay. Press the button to move the bail out. <laughs> Okay, Oscar, uh, it's hung up again where I got a full white band, but the, the button is, uh, is stuck down. It's not extended, so I guess you try to open it again, yeah? Okay, stand by, wheels. Stupid. Wheels, if you want, uh, we think the scoop may give you a little better hammer, you have a go to attempt with the scoop on the button. Okay. And wheels, if you want to pull and, and try to hammer, tap at the same time, that's okay. Yeah. Well, I got a hand on it, but I can't see what you're doing, so I'm blind. Okay, it's full forward, Oscar. Awesome. Sweet. Push that button down. The... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me get that lever. Lever tool. Again, no kickback, it's okay. And there was a, there's a big round of applause down here. Here it will fall. Yeah, we got it. Here we go. And so at 12:20 uh, p.m. Central Time, uh, Doug Wheelock uh, using a uh, scoop tool to bang on the uh, detention button on that Bakke connector, uh, he succeeded in uh, op in closing the valve so that uh, he can uh, make final preparations to uh, demate that device. We're still standing by to hear whether or not that's what they want to do here in Mission Control. But applause in the control room as he was able to get that bail open and uh, get the uh, quick disconnect uh, ready to go. That was a little sporty right there. This is Mission Control Houston, uh, now six hours, 26 minutes into today, spacewalk by Doug Wheelock and Tracy Caldwell Dyson. Uh, the uh, team on the ground has worked with the crew to uh, put this uh, final connector that has been balky throughout the spacewalk into a safe configuration. They've reinstalled it onto its connection uh, on the pump module and installed a spool positioning device. Uh, that's a device that's added to these quick disconnects to allow them to function uh, Optimally, uh, these uh, devices have been installed around the station on these fluid lines in many different locations. Uh, there has been uh, evidence of some leakage of the uh, ammonia from within uh, the system, uh, and that has uh, clearly come in contact with the spacewalkers uh, in uh, several different uh, times during the spacewalk. Uh, just. Uh, 
to uh, qualify that. Uh, uh, ammonia is a hazardous substance, but uh, this is by no means the first time spacewalkers have come into contact with ammonia outside the space station. Uh, there is a uh, standard procedure for inspection of each of the two spacewalker spacesuits to look for any uh, visible evidence of ammonia that might be uh, clinging to their spacesuits, and uh, they will have a specific period of time in which they will uh, basically bake out in the vacuum of space so that any residual ammonia can uh, sublimate and uh, leave their spacesuits before they come back inside the airlock.